Yo, what's going on, 67 Letter Squad? Today, we are playing the new god. I'm not quite sure how to say his name, but I'll let him say it for you. Danzaburo. Danzaburo. That's how you say it, apparently. Um, He already has a skin, huh? I really like the design. All right. He picked Ymir, dude. All right, let's get into it. So obviously the first minute of this is just gonna be me going over his abilities. Uh, but before I do that, I just wanna say thank you everybody for uh, watching the stream, the 24 hour live stream, it was a lot of fun. And thank you everybody for watching the YouTube and subbing and you know, all the uh, all the everything all the everything i just really appreciate you guys so much genuinely i do um so i was told that um hold on let me message him mind staying in base while i explain abilities okay so <clears throat> let's get one of each of his abilities so i can just throw them out there and then explain what they do Why is this so loud? Maybe it's just my, my headphones that are really loud. So, his one is... Let me put them on quick cast so you can see the... Uh, so you can see the, the abilities, or the, the targeters, basically. So, his one is three little balls, and as you see, each ball ricochets individually... And each ball can bounce up to twice. So, um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. And then when they hit their target, they go through enemy gods. Or, I'm sorry, they go through enemy minions. And then when they hit their target, which is a god, <clears throat> or at the limit that they get, they just start blowing up. <clears throat> when they blew up, they obviously do damage when they hit. They do damage when they blow up. And <coughs> excuse me. And if it hits a god, it drops a coin that you can then pick up and give ten gold to Danzaburo. And all of your allies can see that gold and pick it up. And that's I mean that's that, right? I don't know what this intoxicate is. I guess they get intoxicated, they get like a little bit of um, you know, like Bacchus burp or Bacchus alt they get a little bit of that effect on it and then subsequent hits of the money bag explosions deal 20 percent damage so if you hit the same person twice with the same ability like let's say i do this and they're standing in the middle there they both get hit by that uh the second one will only do 80 percent damage instead of or it will only do 20 percent damage instead of the full you know big boom uh, his two is pretty crazy. Um, basically, you throw it out there. Oop, and it doesn't look that crazy. And it dies in two auto attacks. You can see the little effect uh, right above it. Right right above the thing. Um, but basically, you can see the, the fact that it has two inner circles. Right, It heals you when you, when you use it. It heals you initially. The inner circle is a taunt, and they will get taunted towards the sake. Uh, the outer circle, it's just damage. It, it's nothing special. The inner circle is a taunt, and it's a slow as well. And the more you max it, the harder it is to break, so you can taunt more people in it. And it says right here, it has no DR. So when you max this, it's going to be four second. It's going to be four auto attacks to break. It's going to be a one second taunt that cannot be DR'd with anything. Anything. That being said, if an enemy does get 30% of their health gone while they're taunted, it does break. So let's say I'm like, boom. And then he gets Krakened. Obviously, the Kraken is going to override the taunt and he'll be able to run away. Or like Thoth altered or Raw altered or something. You get the picture. The three is the coolest one and arguably the most broken and ridiculously overpowered. Basically... In this little area, you can see I have Haste and Fatalis effect. Um, I have Movement Speed buff. 
I have a hasten fatalis effect and I get 20% less basic attack damage. So if I'm fighting a hunter, I can plop this down, get 20% less damage uh, from his basics and have my hasten effect while also being faster. So it's super busted and that's not even the most busted part. The most busted part and this kind of inclusion of stealth that they added is um, <clears throat> this leaf. So you walk out and you become a leaf. Now obviously you know which leaf I am because, well you can see, <laughs> you know, it's, it's glowing and stuff. For the enemy, it will not be glowing. For the enemy, he'll have no idea what leaf is me and they all move in the same pattern as you so it doesn't um, incriminate you when you're running around or juking or anything because all of the leaves will move. Um, damage does break this but only after the first 0.5 seconds. So that first 0.5 seconds, let's say there's a Poseidon Whirlpool under you, you run out, that first tick of the Whirlpool won't break you out so then you still have this kind of effect of stealth, you know, stealthiness. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty sick. I, I really like his kit. And, um, it's super OP. But I think what I'm actually going to do is I'll just F6 this game so we can get into a straight up new match. And, um, we'll play it out from there. I'll see you guys in that match. And welcome back, my boys. Welcome back. Let's put these on uh, on instant cast because I only play on instant cast because I'm a maniac and an idiot all at the same time. Um, so basically, another thing that they said is that Denzaburo uh, is he can he can be used as a normal hunter with the the bow stacking build and the um, the Devourer's Gloves. I forgot that I am on instant casting. Um, with the Devil's Gloves and the Bow build. But the, he, they also said that they've been finding a lot of success with him um, in a full damage build with Transcendence as well. So I'm going to try out, because I am me, you know, I am me. I'm going to try out the full damage build. It seems like the audio is very loud for me. I'm sorry if it's not, but I'm going to lower it just a tad. Oh, you can see the taunt there. You can see the taunt there a little bit. And he is just a basic hunter, so... Oh, you see the, the little 9 gold pickup there? Oh, I also never went over the passive. The passive is basically 10% of any of your gold gets put into your little bag. And um, the little bag is interest. So when you, when you cap that bag out, you're getting mad stacky boys. I'll place this in. Become a leaf. Oh, he caught me. He's got no mana, so we're okay. Throw that out there. I missed. Nobody walked into it, so we're chilling. Place this down, get some haste and katana effect. I think the I think the plan. Oh, here's the alt, baby. Here's the alt. So let me explain this before I do it, but I will show you. It's the coolest ability in Smite. It really is. Basically, you can shoot the alt normally, and I do have it on uh, quick cast. You can shoot the alt normally by just pressing the button, and a big... Hi. And a big um, rocket will shoot out at them. So you can see here, right? It's a big ass targeter and it's a giant fucking rocket. It will shoot out at them and hit them if you press the button once. However, if you press the button twice, you take control of the rocket. You can maneuver it however you want around enemies. 
You can use it to escape. You are completely 100% damage immune in your ultimate, which is ridiculous. Um, but you are. And it's super cool. So next time I see him, I'll show you. So I'm going to take control of it here and I'll show you what the taking control of it looks like. You shoot it out and then you press the button again. Okay, I didn't I didn't press the button again. Um because I, I suck, I guess. But I'm gonna try it again. I think they just says once fired, the rocket will pass through the damage. I mean minions stopping on the first time we got it, son of the uh while preparing, this we can aim the rocket within 180 degrees to lock onto enemy gods. Oh shit, you can lock onto enemies? I didn't know you could lock onto enemies. How long does that gold coin stay on the ground for? Okay. Alright, so the three's got a little bit of a delay on it. Three's got a bit of a delay on it. So I think the combo, by the way, is to two and then one, not to just randomly be throwing out your ones. But I like kind of randomly throwing out my ones. Alright, so I do have my ultimate back up. Let me go ahead and grab this and this. And see if I can do this the right way this time. Nope. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. They said that all you have to do is um, press the ability again, but I'm having trouble. <laughs> walled my clear off. Oh, he knew I was going for the coin. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Alright. Oh, what is this? Oh, you get physical power when it gets increased. He stores 10% into one of his money back. When a pouch is completely filled, he gains bonus gold and permanent physical power. How much power? Oh, 10 power per pouch. So I have filled one pouch, which means I have an extra 10 power and I got 80 gold for filling the pouch. Okay. Gonna blink on me? There we go, baby. That's how you do it. You just press the button once. My problem was I was spamming it because I, I really wanted it to work. You just got to press the button once. <laughs> All right, he's probably going to blink over the wall here if I were to guess. Oh, he didn't. Nice. Alright, so... You can obviously tell his kid is about trickery, right? Like, you never know what's gonna what's gonna happen when you play him. That's part of the fun. Alright. The alt is really cool, dude. I really... I have so much fun when I use that alt. The range on the two is shorter than I expect it to be. Oh, that hit me, huh? 
So I wonder, I'm trying to think of like what's the what's the ultimate combo, right? Like ow. There you go. That's one way to use his ultimate as an escape. Because, like I said, you are 100 percent completely immune to damage while you're in your ult. It's super cool, dude. The cooldown is not very high on it, but I do have 20% cooldown, I guess. Alright. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. The taunt, the taunt into the one is a very nice play. It does, it does work, for sure. I think I'm gonna ult him. Mir seems pretty good at walling my shit off. But that's okay. I don't know where he is, but I'm just gonna clear this wave before I run. I ran way far back so that I could hopefully do this. You. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, and I'm safe. Okay, perfect. Perfect! Um, I said I did want to go power build, but I do want lifesteal as well, so I'm going to go soul eater. I'm going to go soul eater on this, and then I'll go beat stick, and then I'll go maybe some defense, you never know. Oh, it does bounce off tower. I only threw that out because I wanted to see if it bounced off tower. tried to go around the wall but it kind of sucked it up all right damn these Ymir walls are so on point that's all right though that's all right do you get you get more attack speed right you get movement speed you don't get attack speed, you just get movement speed. I feel like he's definitely better as an auto attack character. I feel like I could have done a lot more damage there if I was auto attack build. The ult is so fun to use though, man. Hey, look at, look at this, look at this, look at this. Hold on. Oh! 
in my gold back. Oh, he ran all the way back. Dude, the ult is so fun, though. Because you just... You just juke everything. I will say, though, with his build being full life steal and my build being full damage and no anti-heal, I feel like I can't kill him. I have a lot of gold in hand. I guess I'll pick that up. You get movement speed as the leaf. You do. So it's good for for disengage. Got a lot of movement speed as the leaf actually. He doing bull demon right now? Where is he? Oh, he's not. Okay. So I'm gonna go beat stick here, especially because of his build. And then I'll go toxic blade. Okay. So we'll go beat stick into a toxic blade. All right. And my three is giving me 35% movement speed as the leaf and 17.5 movement speed while I'm in the area. So I wonder if the combo, because the if you hit your one, it actually does stun. Or not your one, I'm sorry. If you hit your alt, it does stun them. So I wonder if this is the combo here. Oh, no, definitely, definitely not the combo against the Ymir. Okay. Definitely not the combo against the Ymir. He just ults, and I'm big fucking dead. <clears throat> but against another Hunter, that could be a good combo. Asp assuming they don't have CC immunity. If they have CC immunity, you're just kind of shit out of luck, huh? Maybe the ult is just more used... As a defensive, which is kind of shitty to use an alt completely defensively, but maybe that's just how you got to play it. No? Maybe that's just how you got to play it. Alright, let's go get our Toxic Blade. And then I guess I'll go some defense. Maybe I'll just go Pestilence. That hit me, dude. Hmm. Damn, that wall lasts forever. Alright.
Hey, we're stopping his back though. We're doing good right now. We're doing good right now. I don't get any kind of... Yeah, I don't really get anything for using my three, so... I will use it just to maybe make it a little bit harder for him to stop me. Oh, I'm dead, dude. I'm so dead. That didn't... Wait, that didn't stun him? Wait, that didn't stun him. That stun you? He's offline. Oh, I spelled his name wrong. Did that stun you? I don't think that stunned him. No. Wow. That's really shitty. I lose Phoenix here, I think. I have five seconds. He doesn't have any attack speed. But he's hitting it for a hundred. Oh, he blinked away. All right. All right. Hmm. This seems like a difficult matchup. Or maybe it seems like Zanzibaro isn't the best dual character. It doesn't seem like he does that much damage, but maybe it's maybe it's because they lied about the damage build being good and they just wanted people to try it. Cuz that's kind of what it seems like at the moment. I think I'm dead here. I'm not dead here. I mean, we are definitely using this stealth to a, a good advantage. Damn, I can't catch him, man. Like, he just walls me off and then I die. He has blink, by the way, so I'm just going to back, I think. I really don't think that this uh, this is the build you want to do, to be honest with you. But, you know, that's the whole point. That's the whole point of these videos, to figure out if it'll work or if it won't work. And especially with the new god, man. Especially with the new god. I feel like I would be doing so much damage if I wasn't ability-based right now. <laughs> as bad as that might sound. Exactly how I feel. It takes a while for that uh, for that taunt to build up, huh? It does take a while, it looks like.
This man wants to blink on me so badly. Wait, that didn't stun either. This is supposed to stun. Oh, I'm so dead. Actually, maybe not, because he doesn't have all. Definitely in scared territory right now, but I'm gonna keep up the push. Oh, he walked into the taunt. Oh no, Phoenix is up, huh? Phoenix spawned, huh? The bane of my entire existence, a phoenix. Imagine. I want Atalanta's bow, by the way. Oh, actually, no. How much health do you have? 2600 how much how much defense 154 I'm gonna go I'm actually gonna go kins here I'm actually gonna go kins I did get the 1500 bar right yeah, I did all right he re-gets Phoenix here which is atrocious and terrible and awful all at the same time I could potentially alt over there, but I would just die. There's no point. I'm scared. Where is he? You're gonna blink on me. That was a f wait that froze me but it didn't break me out because it froze me so fast my two didn't go off oh holy shit Yo, this is nuts. Is max cooldown or something? He only has 20%, but I feel like he's always got his, his shit up. Like, look what I did. Well, I guess a lot of the fight got missed, huh? Got missed in translation. That's nuts, dude. Oh, we just lose, huh? He's just gonna ult my Titan and win. God damn, dude. This guy doesn't seem very good at all, man. But maybe he's just not a dual god, and that's fine. Okay. 
maybe he's just not a dual god. I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.